when the fuck is Bitcoin and Ethereum and all these cryptos going to come back to what they were two weeks ago, a month ago? Uh, that is a very open-ended question Ooh. because they're tied to the stock market right now. They are tied to the stock market. Why is that? Um, because think of it like this. Like, where's the liquidity for the stock market coming from, from the, you know, the money printing? And that liquidity in the stock market is going crazy and it provides other funds to invest in crypto. And crypto is seen as a speculative risky asset. So it's like the stock market, like, did a line of crack. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so crypto yeah. Will, will mirror almost sort of like the movements of what the stock market does. But there will be there'll, there'll, there'll be a time when it's decoupled from the stock market. Eventually. You think? Yeah. Even with all the regulation and they're talking about with the with the Biden trying to regulate it and and all that shit in the news about it and dude B- Biden actually... couldn't regulate you know two two uh, <laughs> two damp socks as <laughs> I don't think they understand it enough to regulate it and that's what scares me honestly probably and you're probably right I disagree a little bit I think that we'll see a, a good comeback this year in crypto I do think we'll start seeing those higher highs this year before we go into an entire uh, bear market, if you will, but I think that that crypto, you know, the reason it tracks it is because so many of the big boys are now here. You mm-hmm. know, like so much big money is now in crypto. It's like it's it's no longer a, a question. People are like, when's the institution? When the institution, the institutional money is in crypto now, and it's still growing. But for for the most part, like I think that. I think crypto single-handedly this time around saved our economy from going into complete despair back in 2020. Like, I, I really do believe that that's why we started seeing that run up in crypto and where people are like, how are we going to, how are we going to start, start trading things when you, when you had like something like, like 2020 happen, you know I mean? Having a new asset class and it's, it's happened before. Like, it happened in the 1970s. It happened when, before, like, mortgages and real estate were, like, collateralized and being sold around everywhere. We were going into an economic collapse. And they were like, well, let's just create a new financial industry. And they were like, so we'll take mortgages and we'll start trading them like stocks. And then a whole housing market of products came out and people started trading. This is obviously a much grander scale. Right. But I think that there was a lot of behind the scenes going, hey, cryptocurrency could save the economy. We could run this out a little bit more. And and also, hmm. back in 2017, the retailers controlled the market. Now, retail market is only 30% of the volume, if that. It's the institutions. It's the bots. It's the whales. And and they're manipulating it. I mean, they will manipulate it as much as they can. It's very easy to do. And they will continue to do so until, I guess, the regulations come in. And then, you know, the... the the you know the J.P. Morgans the you know official official boys step in although some mm-hmm. of them are I oh, think they're are already going. stepping in I mean even even with the reports even when I was leaving like they, they weren't really talking about it I mean there was there was whispers around it but now they're like full on in their like in their company reports they mm-hmm. have whole crypto sections like for financial advisors for for all that like they brief on how to talk to your clients about cryptocurrencies. How would the government regulating it affect it? What would it change? Fiat gateways. Well, that means exchanges. No more anonymous exchanges. Well, no. That's basically dead. Coinbase reports to the IRS. Okay. Um, and anonymous exchanges, I mean, they're already going after Uniswap. This is already okay. They're already looking into that. Hmm. Uh, honestly, I think as much, <clears throat> as, as much shit as I give Ripple and XRP, you know, I think that they're doing us a favor by keeping the SEC occupied because I think they're going to come <laughs> to Binance. Binance is ri- <laughs> next up, man. Binance is next up. They did, you know, Binance did a lot for the space, man. I remember trading BNB at $5. They did a lot for the space. They hopped in and went. They didn't really care about the regulations. They just did what they were going to do, made a bunch of money, and now they're the king of the space. Mm, the government don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Derivatives markets have been closing ever since the first of this year across multiple countries from Binance. There's only a little sus activity going on. Derivatives markets really power the crypto prices, a lot of these fluctuations up and down. People getting liquidated, longs and shorts. And, you know, we're seeing this kind of this kind of happen. Another thing is I'm worried about is Tether a little bit. You know, Tether FUD's been around for a while. I, I don't trust them. I don't hold a lot of Tether if I can help it. 
Hmm. We'll see. But I think 2021 is going to, or 2022 is going to be quite rocky, in my opinion. I'm a little more, not bearish, but I'm more like, okay, let's see what they're going to do with the regulations. Let's see, you know, what projects they're going to come after. And I'm sure it's going to have a cascading effect on the rest of us before we can actually see the industry start to, to grow in a more professional manner. Yeah, I don't like I don't like guessing, and and I'm not always right, which is which is why I decided to create a bot company in the beginning. Because <laughs> I was which, like, I'm I'm gonna let smarter people build something to handle this off a set set of protocols. And it kicks ass. It yeah, does. Yeah. We've it been testing ass. it. We've been testing it now for I think three months, and the I, we did an alpha test with like small group of people, and it got a ninety percent hit rate, which means ninety mm. percent of the time it was accurate. Which is way more than I am. <laughs> so I was wow. super happy about that. Wow. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. It's good tells times. You, it tells you, it, basically what it does is it'll break down a ton of different coins. And it'll tell you when to get in and out of them. And for the most profit, you know. Huh. So I had a guy you, make like, 300%. 300% in one trade. Some crazy shit. Because he was just like, we told people like, hey, you don't yeah. have to trade. Don't like This is just for you to reference, like to see if you like it or not. Guy was doing 100x leverage. They wouldn't let me in the chat. I wanted to come say hi, you know, but no. We wouldn't let him in. Hmm. <laughs> no. I'm a bit of a. That was, that was we a want you decision. in there TikToking on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that was a hard. That was a hard decision. No, it wasn't. No. You and Jackson Mahomes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To be clear, we're not the brains behind the bot. Oh God, no. Absolutely not. Smart, smart guy. Actually, uh, yeah. <laughs> we met on TikTok. All the people that I've met on TikTok uh, are people that work with me now. You know, that's how we found them. You know, Crypto Wendia was one of the first people I ever met. She's <clears throat> massive, done massive things. One of the best female voices in the space. An example, I think, for women who want to get into Crypto Web three, mm-hmm. I think they should really check her content out because she's been through a lot. Like she's the best. The misogyny in the creator. space, man. Like it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Like misogyny, being crypto. dude. You think like being a girl on the internet is tough? Imagine people who are chronically online, who are oftentimes like deprived of social interaction uh, and who have a bunch of money harassing women like this. It's a problem. I'm not going to lie. After like talking to Wendy, she's done a lot. She's been through a lot. So I respect her a lot. And she came on the team. We're very close with her. Shout out to crypto Wendy. And we've also got crypto weatherman who built the bot. We had a discussion about TA. I was like, man, TA's horseshit. It's astrology for men. He's like, no. TA. Technical analysis. Technical analysis. Okay. I'm like, these people are drawing lines on charts. These are words I don't that. understand. <laughs> no, no. He sat me down. He's like, let me teach you TA. So we hopped in a Zoom call. Five minutes into the Zoom call, I knew I was going to ask him to come work for us. Like, he His brain is is amazing, hmm. and so is his personality. And you put, put that together, you get a really kick-ass guy huh. who can do some cool shit. And so he built the algorithm for this bot, literally scrapes news sites <clears> and social <throat> media to see if it's bullish or bearish. No one else is doing that.